Hey everyone, I'm here to try the Userin oil controlled. Um, <laughs> it's the oil controlled tinted version. I bought both the tinted and untinted version. These are the European sunscreens. I know that there's a US version as well, um, but I'm gonna try this one. It's in the medium shade to see what it looks like on my skin tone because someone mentioned like, you know, that could be helpful to them when I talked about all the Userin sunscreens that I purchased. So, um, yeah, this is an SPF 50 plus and it has, you know, it's broad spectrum coverage with Tinnus Orbes, Juvenal T150, Avabenzone, and Juvenal A plus. So it's got some good new generation filters as well as some old school filters. And um, I've tried the untinted version already. It does have L-carnitine, which is an amino acid that's been shown to control sebum levels in, in people, I guess. You know, what's good about the sunscreen is that it just sort of like doesn't take very long time to apply because it, it dries quickly. It's their dry tech, dry touch technology, I guess. And so you can apply it really quickly without having to like rub it in or wait for it to dry. And it feels pretty, um, good on the skin. However, I'll mention that I do still feel like I'm wearing sunscreen when I use this sunscreen. And that's something that, you know, it's like the majority of sunscreens are going to feel like you're wearing something. So it's not really too big of a ne negative for me. And uh, overall, it's only when I'm really paying attention to it, like around the hairline and around my eyes that I can kind of like feel maybe like a tightness is the best way to describe it, but it's really not overwhelming. So I'm going to try this tinted one and see what it looks like on my skin. And uh, there's no need to hold that up, I guess. So I haven't opened this package yet, so it just comes in this little box. It's a 50 milliliter. I got it for sale on, um, what's the website I got it from? Care to Beauty, which is a Portuguese e-commerce company that sells European products, but I think you can get it on other online retailers if you're in the US. So I just would look for the best deal. So it comes in this, bottle just like the untinted one and it comes with this pump top that is very convenient okay so here's it here here it is and uh actually on first glance it's looking pretty comparable to my skin tone at least in person but maybe on camera it's looking a little bit different because it's picking up the light from outside more but the consistency, it's very much like a lotion and um, you know, that's what it is. It's a sun lotion. So here we go. And I'm gonna look in my mirror so I can just also see what's going on since I haven't tried this before. And uh, yeah, can you see it? <laughs> in person, it's looking I don't know. You know, you it always takes a while to, you have to let it set in, set up and stuff. Um, and it's been a while since I've worn a tinted sunscreen just because, I don't know, I don't feel like dealing with, um, I don't know. I don't feel like dealing with all of the, I'm just gonna stop talking. But I don't wear tinted sunscreen a lot. Okay, so here's what it's looking like. It's actually looking really good once I rubbed it in. At first I was a little concerned, but it's actually looking like a really good match for me. Um, and pretty natural. That's actually really impressive. Okay, I'm gonna go in on the other side. And I'm using a fair amount, like this is a good amount of sunscreen that I'm using. It's interesting because it looks a little light and makeup, makeup y when you first put it on, but then it seems like just instantaneously it turns into a skin tone texture. Like it matches, it just starts matching. That's impressive. I'm going to show you a before and after after I'm done applying the whole thing, just so you can see what my what the sheen of my skin was before doing this and after, but right now, you know, it's looking a little bit satiny, semi-glossy, but of course, uh, you know, sunscreens change as they set in, in terms of the sheen, 
but right now it's looking good and I'm comparing it to my forehead, which doesn't have any. And, um, you know, it might have a slight yellow tint to it, but let's not judge it too early. Um, and I'll just keep, I'm going to get more and put it on my forehead and I guess I'll just do it on my whole face. I don't know if that's going to be a good idea in my facial hair region, but, um, you know, whatever. And just, again, the great thing about this is that it blends in seamlessly. It just feels very effortless. And for me, someone who doesn't like to spend a lot of time on anything, um, it's really nice to just be able to throw on a sunscreen when you're kind of trying to rush out the door and not have to worry about it too much. Like you can use a lot and it just sets in fairly easily. And it's feeling very similar to the original non-tinted formula. This is non-scented, if I didn't mention that already. So, you know, I prefer an unscented sunscreen. So that's what you're getting here. Um, and yeah, overall it's looking really good. It's looking good. Okay, I'm gonna go in for the rest of my face. Well, let's just try this side right now. Let's see what goes on in that facial hair. You know, and the hairline, I think it's important to still like, get your sunscreen up in the hairline since your hair doesn't cover everything and you still wanna protect that region of your skin. So it's important for sunscreens to look good in, in the hairline. All right, let's keep going. I got it on my lips, so that's gonna look really weird, but. I'm not gonna do my neck and, uh, you know, I would just probably do my neck with another thing because I'm worried about, about transfer. You know, you can see on the bottle, it's already kind of like showing up a lot. So I just, I don't know. I mean, I, I can test to see what the transfer is. Um, on like something I don't care about after it dries and see what that would be like, but I'm not gonna put it on my neck right now. I probably need to spend more time kind of blending it into the facial hair because it's noticeable right now and clumpy, but overall it's looking good and I need to just get it off my lips. There's a somewhat of an orange tint. Sometimes that shows up later for whatever reason with iron oxides. Let's let it kind of set in, but this is what it looks like right after application. So a little shiny, curious to see what that looks like. And uh, here's what I looked like before applying it. Right after in the same lighting. So this natural lighting is kind of giving a different picture. You know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking of like Mrs. Doubtfire for some reason. <laughs> like I look like Mrs. Doubtfire right now. Um, so I don't know how I feel about all of that, but let's let it set in. Um, I'll come back in like 15 minutes and show you what it looks like at that point. Hey everyone, so it's been about 15 minutes or so um, and I let it set in. I kind of try to buff it out of some parts of my, like my fish or my hairline. So it really kind of gets up in there and really hangs on to, to the hairs. And in the facial hair region, it gets clumpy. Like those iron oxides just sort of get deposited and dry up and so I don't really recommend it there um, and it looks really weird but I try to get it off of any places it doesn't belong um, and overall I'd say it's like a it's a good tinted sunscreen I think the, the thing with tinted sunscreens and this one is very makeup-y like I think it has a high concentration of iron oxides in here is that um, like usually when you do makeup you don't just use one color all over your face and so when you do it's kind of has an unnatural look. Um, some tinted sunscreens don't have as high of an iron oxide contents 
and therefore it's still somewhat sheer and your natural skin tone will come through it. This one feels like it's actually co like providing coverage. So it really just depends on what you're looking for. For me, this probably won't work because I don't like to wear makeup. I don't like it to look like I'm wearing makeup and uh, I just prefer to look natural. But, you know, it's, it's okay. It does have that orange sort of undertone, which I don't like personally but it's not the most outrageous that I've seen from tinted sunscreens. And before this is what my skin looked like. So it's kind of interesting because in direct light, you can't really tell the sheen. It looks almost just natural. But when I was looking in the mirror in indirect lights, the sheen kind of looked almost greasy. So it really is hard to communicate what it looks like on camera. And it really depends on the lighting scenario. It, it is, at least glossy and um i don't even really know about the untinted one i think it might be the same it's just kind of a glossy sunscreen despite it being an oil control oil control doesn't necessarily mean that it has a matte finish so i think it's important to point that out and uh, you know overall it's not my favorite sunscreen ever i don't like usually wear tinted sunscreens to begin with and uh you know i wish that there was some way to get some of that blue light protection without having to use makeup. And you know, if you've watched some of my other tinted sunscreen videos that I made a long time ago, I'd say that this one's actually, this sunscreen's actually good. It's just that it provides more coverage. So that's why I don't personally like it. And then of course, like that, the undertone being a little orange is off-putting to me. So on the topic of, of transfer, color transfer, let's see. So it's, you know, it's been a while. I just got this paper towel and I'm just gonna, blot it and see there's a little bit coming off um and i just imagine if you have it on your neck or something your neckline of your shirt's gonna get some of that on there so if that's a problem for you you know just don't you you probably can't wear tinted sunscreen at all on that region so that's another issue with tinted sunscreens actually yeah so anyway um thanks for watching and I guess I'll see you later.